My dream was to always go to a four-year college and become a child advocacy lawyer or a caseworker. My dream was to open up a barbershop and to open up a clothing store. It's always been my dream to buy a house in Durham. CFPD's mission is to build assets and expand opportunity for all Americans, but particularly for low and moderate income Americans. We do this by helping them buy businesses, buy homes, invest in education, and build savings. We think that an economy works best when it harnesses the energy and talent and vision of all of its people, so that if everybody has a chance to play, then the economy as a whole wins. And really what CFED does is work to open the doors to the economy. We know that 22.5% of Americans are asset poor, which means they don't have the savings or cushion to be able to survive at the poverty level for three months if their main source of income is disrupted. Too many people live behind, always paying last month's or last year's bills. Having even a small amount of savings, a few assets, allows people to think about their future, to imagine a future better than the present, to prepare for that future, and ultimately that very American ability to invest in yourself. The Corporation for Enterprise Development was established in 1979 through the vision of founder Bob Friedman, who sought to encourage and inspire ordinary people to realize their potential. I began CFED with the simple faith that people had much more capacity than they had opportunity. And given half a chance, people would seize control of their economic lives and create futures for themselves, their kids, and the country as a whole. We began to realize that it wasn't enough to just focus on place-based initiatives, but that we really needed to understand how to support the individuals that live in those communities to help them move up the economic ladder and to preserve those gains that they've made so that they can not only improve their own lives, but the lives of the next generation. CFED has been a critical partner in this effort. CFED is a tremendous source of practical ideas about asset building, and I think that's what those of us who work in this field and in related fields look to CFED for and respect it for and uh, count on it for is to generate powerful ideas, test them, and then help those of us who are working in the field um, apply things that work. CFED is working diligently to expand economic opportunity by helping Americans to grow businesses, own homes, attend college, and save for their futures and the futures of their children. All of these things help people who've been on the margins see that the economy is something that is not foreign to their lives, that they can be contributors, active participants, and, and grow along with America. They deliver results. Um, and they're really truly making a difference, both at the local level and across our country on a national basis. We started asking ourselves some years ago, what difference would it make if every child grew up knowing that he or she had a nest egg to go to college? And we started testing that and found, indeed, it made a huge difference, that with a little money saved, People began to plan for college, prepare for college, expect that they could go to college uh, and, and from there on to a productive life. We are building on what we've learned from our children's savings demonstration to create new partnerships in the educational world and youth development world to create match savings accounts and financial education programs paired with academic counseling and scholarships to enable this generation of Americans and youth to really profit from education. They told me about the individual development accounts where I get a two to one match savings program. So for every dollar I saved, they gave me two dollars and I thought that was cool. And I applied for two scholarships, one from Juma Ventures and one from the Mason Scholarship Fund. I received both of them and I put them in my IDA account and I began to get direct deposits from my checks which were coming from all of my employers. And then finally when I got to college, I have paid for my tuition, I have paid for school books, and I have paid for a beautiful laptop. Now I'm an uprising junior on a five-year dual 
degree program where I am going to get my master's in education with two AAs in Spanish and psychology. It feels great to know that I'm going to be the first college graduate in my family and that my brother and sister have somebody to look up to. We have seen over the years the power of business ownership as a means out of poverty, as well as a means to develop your community. And so we continue to focus on particularly providing the right kind of credit to business owners and the right kind of financial products and resources that can help them grow over time. So we've created a national initiative working with local partners all over the country called the Self-Employed Tax Initiative that actually helps them learn what it means to have a successful business and how to get standard financial products and services at the same time they're getting access to government benefits. And so I was looking for my own place. I was like, I have been in business long enough, it's time for me to open up my own shop. The city came and approached me because this was a redevelopment area and they was trying to get people to buy, buy the buildings. And they came to me and they said, why don't you become an owner? And so the city said, well, what we have is a matching fund and they were going to help me out. Now I own my own shop. I'm happy. And my family's happy. And I mean, I just feel glad, you know, that someone gave me the opportunity to be self-employed and that I can help other people. What we've discovered is the combination of having your own savings and equity in your home, of having financial education and home ownership education tied to a savings product, and being directed to a high quality or fair mortgage are three ingredients that significantly lower the risk and raise the opportunity of success in home ownership. The way I bought my house is by using this program called the Individual, Individual Development Account which is also known as IDA. I had some financial barriers and I ended up saving a lot of money as I was taking this home buying class. And then they completely matched it. So I had enough money for a down payment. It's very possible to buy a house and it actually, it, it's not that hard once you find, you know, the key organizations or allies to help you um, finish the process. Now I'm a homeowner and I'm really proud of myself. A major initiative of CFED is called I'm Home, Innovations in Manufactured Homes. This national market transformation strategy seeks to provide the same benefits of home ownership to the 17 million people who live in a manufactured home. Let's turn these homes into appreciating assets. I feel like for 30 years we've been preparing for this moment. I think this is our time if we make the most of it. It's a function both of the crisis that we're in and the opportunity that we have. Uh, the president has said we should move from an era of borrow and spend to save and invest. If the great uh, achievement of the 20th century was to build a safety net, it seems to me the great achievement of the 21st century will be to create a truly inclusive investment system, again, where everybody has a chance to play, and as a result, the whole economy will win. Our 30th anniversary gives us the opportunity to look back and thank all those people who made where we are today possible. But the most important thing is it is a mandate for us to look forward. How do we create the economic opportunity of the future? What needs to be in place so we improve on what we've done today and create a better future for all of those we care most about?